Hello, Carla Sweet from Scrub and Create. So we are now on page five of Little Things. Now remember again, just to remind you, this is black cardstock. I'm just doing it on bright colored paper so you can see what we're doing. So for page five, let me show you what we're going to be building. So this one has a, a flip here and then this flips open this way. So this is going to be opening up like this and then like this. So, and then it has a pocket on the side here. So for this here, you these two flips, you are going to be cutting one that's six and a half inches wide by seven and a half inches tall. And then you're going to score it with the six and a half inch side up. You're going to score it at a half an inch. Fold and burnish and put your score tape. Then you'll cut another piece five and a half inches wide by seven and a half inches tall you're going to score it at a half an inch. And then on the five and a half inch side up, and then you're going to fold, burnish, and put your score tape. So go ahead and get those done. Let me get this out of the way. So there's your base page. Here's your spine. This big flap is actually going to be adhered right here. So you can go ahead and here's your, your score tape. Go ahead and line it up there. Make sure this, your edges are even. This is should be even. They're both seven and a half inches tall. Go ahead and pull your tape. So that flap is in. So once this flap is in, what I want you to do is measure a half an inch in from the edge of the flap, half an inch in, half an inch in, and then draw a line. And this is all with pencil, so you can erase it later. Make sure I am frame. Okay, draw your half an inch line, and do the same thing on this side, half an inch in, half an inch in, draw a line. And then what you're going to do is you are going to go to your um, patterns and solids and get the, a red, the red, the red paper. And you are going to cut two strips. This is not the paper. This is just my, um, some extra stuff. I don't want to cut into my paper. You're going to cut in two strips. They're both going to be seven and three eighths of an inch tall by a half an inch. And then you are going to adhere them one sixteenth of an inch from the edge of this flap that you just put in. So go ahead and adhere those in with score tape or glue. So get those in straight. Then you're going to get this flap, the smaller flap, the five and a half inch wide flap. So you've got, you've um, scored it, burnished it, got your score tape. This, this side is going to be lining up with those half inch tick marks. You got a half inch tick mark up here, half inch tick mark down here. You are just going to line that up at that half inch tick mark. 
and make sure your papers, your two flaps are lined up evenly. Looks like they are. I'm gonna pull this one, get that lined up, half inch, half inch, it's lined up. And pull that. So we have that in. Oops, I didn't put this in very well, did I? Doo -doo. I'm just using art glitter glue, but not much because I don't want to waste my supplies. just to show you where that goes. Let me cover this up. Okay, so you have your top flap, you have the bottom flap, and they open up like this. So what you're going to do, what, what, what we're going to do now is you're going to open up this tap, top flap and where you have this red half inch uh, red paper is, you are going to be applying next to it this ladybug paper. Where's my pencil? Where's the ladybug? Oh my God, where's my... This ladybug paper. You're going to cut a little bit of green here and you're going to cut it right at the end right here. So from the green to right here. So you're going to cut that and you're going to make it um, seven and three eighths inches tall. And you're going to affix it with a little bit of reveal in between your red paper. So you're going to lay it down right here. It's like a quarter of an inch strip. So this is what it's going to look like. Let me bring this up. So here's your half an inch of red, and here is your here is your ladybug. A little bit of reveal in between, and then later on, not now, you're going to be applying this blue paper. But for now, you're just going to lay down that little ladybug strip. So get that down, and then next what we're going to be doing is figuring out where we're going to put the magnets behind this flap. Because there's magnets from here to here. So we're gonna have two magnets on the outside and where do we put them? So what you're going to do is you, you open up your flap you are going to measure three quarters of an inch in, a half an inch down, and that's it's right there. That's a half an inch down, three quarters of an inch in, right there. You're gonna put one magnet there. Same thing down here, half an inch up, three quarters of an inch in, right there. Now I got my this um, paint pen. Just going to see if this paint pen can show you where you're going to. So here's where you're going to put your magnets. If you push them over here, So that is where your magnets are going to transfer to, here and here. So you have enough space in between that ladybug paper, the blue paper, to cover up those magnets. So that's where I put mine. You measure yours to make sure you do have enough space so you can cover up those magnets. You don't want those magnets too close to um, to the edge so you, you can't cover them up with your paper. So you have your magnets in. 
for this page. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to get one of your ribbons. Now, this is the ribbon you got with from us if you got our bundle. If not, you can use another um, type of ribbon. I've already glued it and let it set. And you, this ribbon, it's real important where you place it because we have two ribbons and they're offset here and here. So this ribbon, I believe, is four inches up from the base. Yes, it's four inches up from the base. So what you're going to do is you're going to measure four, yes, it's going on the it's going on the inside here. You're going to measure four inches up from the base, and that's where the edge of your ribbon is going to lie. Right there. So let me put some. Um, I don't want to use, I can use, I have a strip of black construction tape, but, um, so I'll put my black construction tape here. Normally I put a bigger piece, but this is a spare one I have. So that is about where your ribbon's going to fall. It's sticking out way too much. <laughs> sticking out way too much. It does not need to stick out that much. see that's about right you don't want it going you don't want it going over the edge of this so there's your ribbon so on this side you now have your magnets you've transferred them over to this side you've placed your ribbon four inches up so the edge here is this is hitting right at four inches right there now you can cover this back side and this side. So what do they look like? Let me find them. So let's open this up. So the back side is basically the blue paper from the 12 by 12. So you're going to put the blue paper from the 12 by 12 here. And then I put a strip of the solid blue here. So this, this thing is all the blue with the writing on it. Then this solid piece is an inch strip. I'm gonna put a solid piece of inch, of an inch strip of the solid blue here, and then you will add the rest is going to be the same paper here. So you're gonna be covering up your magnets here, covering up that ribbon, and then you're covering up your magnets here. This one I have not completely adhered down. There's my magnets underneath my black construction tape. And then I'm just gonna pull this and lay everything down on this side. So you got this covered, this is going to be covered. You got your one inch solid blue strip here. Magnets, we've got this page done. Now we're going to lift this flap. Which is going to be this one. So we've got our, our ribbon here. Now we need to li lift up this flap. So we're going to be lifting up this flap. And we're going to be putting magnets in here. Now these magnets, so here we are, lifting up. These magnets are going to be placed like we always do, a half an inch down, a half an inch in, half an inch up, a half an inch from the side. That's where you're going to put your small basic gray magnets. 
and then you're going to transfer them over to the base page and this is where they're going to be lined. That's where your magnets are going to end up. So what and oh now you need to put your um, ribbon on this side. So we've got a ribbon on this side too. So this ribbon sticks up how far up from the bottom? This ribbon is three and ooh, not a half, three and it's three and three and three eighths. Oh my gosh, it's three and three eighths. You're going to measure up three and three eighths inches up. That's where your ribbon's going to be. The ribbon edge is going to be right there. So here's my other um, ribbon that I had made. It's, it's dried, it has the glue, so its edge is going to be right there. So let me get some tape. Do I have any more? I've got some more black construction tape that's um, Gonna put some black construction tape here. So that is where this ribbon's going to be. So you know you, you can't see the ribbon now because it's yellow on yellow. So now you have a ribbon here that's three and three eighths inches up, and you have a ribbon here that was four inches up, so they're offset just a little bit. You have this covered, you have this covered. Now you can cover this piece also. You can cover the top. So the top is just this paper, again, from the 12 by 12 collection, the flowered paper. Um, the way I did it is I started with I started with this stripe of flowers with a little bit of green and then ladybug 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 and ended it so the ladybug was on this edge here. And remember you have your red red piece right here. So here's your red piece your red piece you're going to add your paper to this flap now just starting with the green before this flower stripe and going over and ending you should be ending on the ladybug stripe so cut that out that is going to be seven and three eighths inches tall like everything else and approximately five inches um, wide, but you measure yours, you measure yours, because you may be putting it a little bit different um, than me on this edge. So measure it, make sure you've inked everything, every paper you put down, you ink, and then you put that on. So now we're finished with this top flap. We've got our magnets on the inner flap here. We've transferred the magnets over to here. This is all covered. Now we're going to open this up. This you have covered. Now this is the inside flap. You got your magnet here. You got your magnet here. Now you're going to be covering this with the green the green from the 12 by 12. It does not cover the whole flap. We have a piece of red paper, the red writing paper here. This piece is going to be four and five eighths inches wide. So cut this seven and three eighths inches tall, 
four and five eighths inches wide. Ink, make sure you ink the edges and put that down. So put the green paper down, okay? So I added a, a designer paper, not the right one, didn't do the measurements perfectly, it's, but it's four and five eighths inches wide. And I adhered that down, covered up where my magnets and my ribbon are. So you got the green dot page on. Now you are going to go over, remember you drew your line here? So you drew, I think I showed you to draw that line. You close this down and you draw a line in pencil so you know where the edge of the flap is hitting. So this is where the edge of the, the flap is hitting. So this is showing you the edge of the flap is hitting right here. So we have our edge of the flap hitting here. Now what you're going to be doing is you're going to be adding a solid red stripe. And this is one and a quarter inches wide. What did I do with this? Yeah, so I measured one and a quarter inches wide and it is wide enough to cover up that those magnets. So you are going to be adding that solid red paper. Go up against the line. Do not go touch, just go just a little bit right of the line. Don't go right on top of the line, just a little bit to the right of the line. Remember, this is all your black, your black base page. And you're going to adhere this piece down. Remember, everything is seven and three eighths inches tall. So this is one and a quarter inches. One and one quarter inches, your red paper. So you're gonna put that down. So now you have your one and a quarter inch solid red stripe put in. You're lining it up just a little bit to the right of where you drew that line. Now, the rest of this is going to be using your red paper from the 12, is this the 12 by 12 or is this the pattern in solids? It is the patterns in solids. Oops, let me put my glue, cover my glue or else it'll dry up. So this is going to be a piece that measures seven and three eighths inches tall. And you are going to measure how much you, do you need. You measure yours. It's going to be about six inches. About six inches. The first piece you're going to lay down, doesn't matter which one you want to do. If you want to do the big piece first, and then you cut it so it clears the hinge here. You put that down and then you will cut the second piece. If you want to continue with your words so they go across, make sure if you need to trim, you trim from this edge, not this edge, if you need to trim this piece down, which you're probably going to do because you're going to be skipping this hinge. So it's going to be whatever this measured out, out for you, and then measure this one to this green paper. You're always going to have a little bit of black reveal. So put this paper down. Once you get that down, everything in here is now, the, the, the paper's put down, all the magnets are in. All the ribbons are in. Now it's just making this pocket. Now this pocket piece, it is abutting right up next to your flap. 
So depending on where you put your flap, I mean, it should be close. You are going to measure from the end of your base piece to the edge of your flap. So mine measures three and a half inches. You measure yours. That's going to be important. You can always adjust it later, but that's, you'll see what I mean in a little bit. So I went ahead and, and, and um, made mine five and a half inches wide because I measured mine out to, oops, five and a half, four and a half, oh my gosh, four and a half inches wide. Four and a half inches wide because I measured my pocket this space to be three and a half inches wide. So you add half an inch here, half an inch there, because you're making a pocket. That would be four and a half inches wide. Now the height is always going to be the same, which is going to be four and a half inches tall. So this piece that I cut is four and a half by four and a half. Now, once you score it on your three sides, what you need to check is the width. Does the width fit in here? You want it to fit so you might have a there. See, can you see that? That that fits perfect. This pocket is going to fit perfectly in there. This isn't um, going over the pocket. This isn't going inside the pocket. You don't want that. You want it just so this is right up, it should be right up next to your red, red solid paper here, like that. So I'm going to go ahead and fold mine. I'm going to add my score tape, miter my corners, and then I'm going to put my pocket in. But always dry fit your pocket before you put, put it in to make sure Hopefully you can see this to make sure it is lining up right there. And when you close your flap, the flap is not hanging over it at all. So it should be like that. So there it is. I'm going to go ahead and put my pocket in. So I dry fit my pocket in there. I did the bottom flap. What are you gonna do here? You're going to add your construction tape or your scotch tape. And then go ahead and adhere your side flaps. I need my pick tool. Everything is okay there. So you've got the pocket in. You've got your pocket in. So hopefully that made sense. So this, this is about four and a half inches wide. You do your measurements just to be sure this all clears. So then to decorate the pocket, I start off, I wanted to put something that centers the ribbon. So um, the way I did this when I used this paper from the 8x8 collection. So I used this paper from the 8x8 collection and I made mine three quarters of an inch wide. So you're going to add a piece of paper here for that flower paper three quarters of an inch wide quarters of an inch wide. You may, depending on where your ribbon lies, you may want to increase that a little bit because you, I like, to, I like to center my ribbon in between, but that looks pretty good. So that's where I would put that paper. 
right in here. So that's going to be your flowered paper, right? Then you're going to have a little bit of reveal, and then you're going to add, once again, the green polka dot paper from the 8x8. So whatever you need to, to, um, to finish it off is what you're going to put. Mine is about three and an eighth inches long, and they're both exactly the same width. So whatever your pocket came out to be widthwise, just subtract an eighth of an inch. So then you have your pocket done with the, the flowers from the eight by eight, three quarters of an inch strip, then your eight by eight inch green, po um, green polka dot paper. And then I use this from the eight by eight collection, the What's Up Buttercup little card. And once again, I used my my X-Acto knife, knife and I cut around this oval part here where the white is and I stuck these two. Oh my gosh, can you see? So once again, I used my X-Acto knife and cut into the paper before I adhered it down. Cut into this little card and stuck my little kiddos in there. Remember, these were from, there was a trio, this one and this, these two kiddos, and then I just stuck them inside this little slit. And once they were in there, I taped them on the back side, and then I adhered the card on um, the pocket. And the card is basically centered and about, um, not um, not quite a half an inch up. The inside of the pocket, I just used the paper from, this is from the 12 by 12 collection. I just cut it the same width, three and three eighths. And I just made it go a little bit deeper because I want it to cover those lips of the pocket. So I made it go probably to five inches deep. So three and three eighths by five inches deep. Slip it into the pocket so it covers the, the lip edges of your pocket. You've inked everything. You've got your pocket. This, everything's done. The only other thing to do is to make this insert, and basically it's just a black piece of cardstock cut to three inches, three inches wide by, what is that? Six and four eighths, five eighths, four and five eighths plus a little bit. So something like that. That's how long mine is. I mean, you can make it not as deep or you can um, make it deeper if you want. But that's what I did. And then I just covered it and I notched the edges. If you have the If you have the We Are Memories scallop um, cutting tool, I just did that on the top. If you have the We Are Memories scallop punch, I did that here on the top, rounded my corners at the bottom. Remember, every time you round the corners, it makes it easier to, to go into the pocket. So I used the 12 by 12 uh, forget-me-not paper. In the back, again, I just used uh, a journaling card. This is a um, small journaling card and it measures about four inches high and I may have trimmed it off a little bit just so it fits. Did the scallop punch on that too. Ink the edges and then what was left at the bottom this is two and a quarter inches. No, two and five-eighths inches deep. 
This is the, the flowered paper from the 8x8 collection. And then I just used a chipboard element. Um, if, if you got the chipboards elements, I just put a piece of chipboard. I, I put some, used a circle punch to cover the back with the blue paper, solid blue paper. And I inked the top of my chipboard all the way around so there's no chipboard. And I just adhered it to there. And then this just sits in like this. And let me just show it to you so you can see um, see any of the details if you want to see how it all fits. And then here's the inside. And then on this side, this side opened up and it's just like that. So that's it for this page. Hopefully um, it wasn't too confusing. It's not that hard to build. <laughs> it's not that hard to build. The main thing is getting those magnets in the right place and not forgetting to add your magnets. So we are done with page five.